morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we, in hum we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to exalt you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time. And he said to the Sanhedrin, fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Thedius appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas, the Galilean. At the time of the census, he also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and he dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our responsorial psalm. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord 
in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them, and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A large crowd followed him. Who wouldn't follow Jesus? He had turned water into wine. He healed the sick. He overturned the temple, the tables in the temple. He brought some excitement and perhaps a bit of hope into people's lives. And so a young boy joined the crowd in following Jesus around the Sea of Galilee and up on a mountainside. Perhaps he was hoping to see miracles, but Jesus had something greater in mind. He wanted to feed the people to satisfy, satisfy both their physical hunger indeed, but also their spiritual hunger. When that boy followed Jesus up the mountain, he probably didn't recall how Moses went up on Mount Sinai to meet God, and he probably never anticipated his lunch becoming the manna for the people. He may have had more practical concerns, his two fish and five barley loaves, the bread of the poor, were more than he could eat on his own. Maybe he was carrying his family's provisions. Or maybe he intended to sell the food to earn some money for his family. So imagine how surprised the boy must have felt when Andrew brought him to Jesus. What an honor. But when Andrew suggested taking his lunch to feed the crowds, this boy must have faced a, a moment of decision. Could he relinquish his food? What would his parents say? He had no idea what Jesus would do, but he gave them to Jesus anyway. And Jesus, for his part, took the small offering from the boy, gave thanks, and multiplied it. Friends, today Jesus looks down on all the billions of people on the earth, and he sees each one. He sees every child hungering for bread, and every child longing for the bread of life and he sees you and he sees me 
His eyes are welcoming, his arms outstretched. He invites you to offer what you have so that you can feed his people. You may feel that you don't have enough to be useful. You may feel that you're unqualified to help. But Jesus is pleased to receive and bless whatever it is you offer to him. Perhaps as we look at that young boy, we could hear Jesus say to us, come closer, come closer, come out of the crowd. Give Jesus your heart, give Jesus your gifts. Here I am, Lord, use me to build your kingdom today. Let us turn to God in trust, confident that he will respond to our petitions. For the church in all corners of the world, may she grow in strength and number of disciples through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials and leaders of our community, may God give them hearts of compassion and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are persecuted unjustly, may God give them strength to endure and work peacefully toward justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may our faith in our loving Father be nurtured through the blessings we receive. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have fallen asleep in the hope of Christ, may God bring them to the joy of everlasting life. At this Mass, we especially remember John Keeler. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions, which we now mention in silence. Through the intercession of Our Lady, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Please pray with me that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care we may never lose what we have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but in this time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed he never ceased to, ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you he is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb, one slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Father, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, we may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. You too, Father.